Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Lads, we are back at the setup to talk about Team of the Season warm-up series and potentially a little bit of a market rebound on some of those meta cards. I think during this next week and even starting today maybe, we'll have to see. I think we're going to be trending in that direction of a lot of people going out and buying cards for their team. It does depend on the content, of course, and today it does have a lot of question marks around it. I want to talk about that with some SBCs expiring, like an Icon Moments upgrade today. But I also just want to take a look at the market and prices once again, because we're just right again in this very weird scenario where so many people are looking to buy cards for their teams, for investments, and all that good stuff. But also at the same time, we have a lot of really good SBC content that is being released that is draining some coins and is keeping some card prices in check. Like Friday night, this Mbappe, who right now is 315, 310,000 coins, this Mbappe was 340 on Friday night. And now we're getting more and more SBCs. And it seems like some of these high tier meta cards, you know, Team of the Year Messi was just clocked in on Footpin at 1.74, right? Some of these cards have been ones that we've been keeping eyes on just to see where they end up going. 179. Okay, he's not there anymore. But 174, 179, you know, he's been still under 1.8 mil. And as I look across a lot of the market, it's not like a ton of cards have really started to rebound uh, that much. Uh, I keep watching this Jude Bellingham Future Stars, right? There's just so many cards at the moment that are that are just like hanging in the balance, I feel like. They're just so close to going up. Like this Jude was 1.18 and he's back down to 1.13. So all these SPCs that are out versus all of that pent up demand for a lot of people wanting to buy for their teams, how is that going to play out this week? I want to talk about through some possibilities and potential movements with that and also take a look at today's Sunday content and talk about SBC fodder once more because I do think that fodder is just such a crazy, crazy thing right now and especially heading into this week. I think fodder is going to be a very interesting place to watch on the market. So you're getting post-wedding TFA today. Ty is undone. It was a good weekend. It was a busy one, but this is very late. I'm recording this very late, uh, so apologies if I do seem very tired. Anyways, let's get into this one, boys, and let's just start off by getting right into the market, and let's talk about it. So if you're excited for the video, thumbs up, of course. You know the drill, and hit the subscribe button if you're new. Let's look at some prices and, and just talk this over once again. In last night's video, we talked about, again, this is, of course, the low period, and cards are down a lot. We know that, right? That's obvious. But, you know, timing for the lowest of the lows, we may have missed some of that potentially. Now, today on Sunday could bring some more drops in prices depending on what content we see. But guys like Fakir, 250, he was back up to 290. Now he's back down in the 270 to 280 range. You just see these cards kind of chilling thus far. I still think what we often see is the market rise a lot on Mondays after that weekend league rewards time frame just about every single week. And I know a lot of people were looking at this weekend on FIFA to buy cards for their teams uh, as a lower point and as a low point to invest and put these some of these cards in their squad again Ronaldo's 227 right that's still pretty low for his card as I'm scrolling through a lot of these foot birthdays they're not incredibly cheap like Dybala is up like 60 70k but you know Paqueta is up Davinson is up uh Firmino is up from where his lowest point was but it definitely these stars have these cards have not started rebounding across the board just yet. Some of them are still kind of low. Gravenberg's 365. Lacroix is back under 600k. Pedri 1.1. I think it's the continual SBC content that we're getting right now that is keeping these cards in check. But again, you have so many people I think that are going to want to invest this week, and that's the difference between a market rebound that would start like today on a Sunday or after rewards on Monday tomorrow. The difference between that sort of market rebound and the later market rebound that we're almost bound to have later on in the week this weekend, there's two different reasons for that, right? The first reason, why would the market rebound today, tomorrow after rewards, that would be more so investors or market savvy people that are watching this game and are looking for a low point to buy cards and put some items into their team uh, kind of like we've been doing for this whole past week right watching for price drops watching for the potential to, to invest or buy cards for our teams during this team of the season market crash but also um, at the end of the week you're going to have prices just bound rebounding back uh, because everybody's going to be getting coins that's the two different types 
of rebounds that I think. And I'm again, I'm talking way ahead of time for like later on this week, but it, I got to continue covering this for you guys because the market is ever changing. And I know there's so many people that are looking to buy cards for teams like Nate, when is the time to buy? Again, I think we are in the time to buy because a lot of this stuff is low. Um, and I think that if you're going to, if you're going to buy some of these out of packs cards for sure, before the tots community cards come out this coming Friday is probably the play. Uh, but again, that's kind of the two scenarios that I see with this market. I see some people looking to invest, um, and buy cards up because they want to buy them before everybody else does. That'll see a bit of an initial rebound on the market, potentially after rewards on Monday, but maybe even starting today. We could see some of that. It does always depend on EA's content, right? We always have to throw that caveat in there because EA can do something that would drop the market and cause some panic selling and create some better prices to buy. But then I also think that would accelerate some of the rebound later on if that did happen. Then, of course, again, the second rebound that I'm talking about is once we have all these packs that are open for the TOTS community uh, on Friday, that's when you're going to see a lot more of the rebound on the market just in general because people are going to get those packs that they've opened up and they're going to have a lot of coins and they're going to go out and they're going to buy cards off the market and these out of packs cards this the rise back that we've been talking about waiting to see right we've seen drops for the past like three or four weeks now again what's one of my favorite cards to look at i love looking at lucas paqueta right paqueta is still about 480 490 but again this guy was 860 Dropped all the way down to like 450. He's back up to about 480, 490. And, and, you know, he's still low. I do expect this card to bounce back to like 550 or 560 most likely after the next weekend or so. We've been talking about that, right? And that goes for a lot of cards in this game. You're, I expect to see bounce backs for most of them, especially if they're very popular and very meta. Of course, rarity is, is it playing a part in there as well. But that's kind of how I feel like uh, this weekend and later on in uh, next weekend or later on this week, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday of Community Tots being released. That's kind of how I feel like the market could be reacting. Now, again, like I said, there's a couple caveats thrown in here because we keep getting this good content. And especially today on Sunday, we might be actually looking at a potential buy opportunity today if there's a big time Icon Moments upgrade pack that is released. Of course, the Icon Moments upgrade pack goes away today but if ea were really trying to drain coins what they could do is they could put out a player pick an icon moments player pick or a prime or moments player pick i think either of those two i would just like the icon moments player pick to be completely honest ea drop that one we don't have any leaks right now about that but we have seen this icon pack two weeks in a row now i think maybe it's time for ea to put out an icon player pick especially right ahead of team of the season people would love to craft it during tots and it would be a great coin drain before team of season in total. So just be very careful of this SBC today. I don't know if it's going to get re-upped. I don't know if there's going to be a new one. But I'm telling you, if they do release some sort of icon player pick that is a new one, like a prime or moments or an icon moments player pick, I do believe that would make some cards prices drop um, because people would want to go out and do that SBC because it's a gamble pack, right? We know people love to do these gamble packs. And that could actually create a scenario where maybe a guy like your Lucas Paqueta drops 20 or 30,000 coins for a couple hours today on Sunday and creates a buy opportunity to get some of the lower prices that we've seen in the past week. And then you start to see the rebound later on into the week. I think that would be, the, that'd be like the, the perfect scenario today, right? Is they drop some sort of SBC for a lot of us that want to buy cards. They drop some sort of SBC that causes some panic drop some prices and then we see a rebound later but we get good prices today on the game because of that panic that's one thing that i would watch out for today again it, it might not happen that way and the market might be very stagnant once again that's the best way to describe the market at the moment it's just very stagnant a lot of these prices while they have stayed decently steady some of them have rebounded back they really haven't moved that much right marco royce from 350 to 370 375 that's not really that huge of a swing. Uh, it's, you know, like a 7% swing in price, maybe uh, like between 5 and 7%. Like that's not that big of a swing in value on a card like a Marco Royce. You know, some cards you have seen bigger swings. I think a lot of the bigger swings that you have seen have been on cards that have live and upgrade potential, right? These fantasy foot cards, some of them have secured their final upgrade 
uh, like Vertonghen's going to get a plus one. Uh, you're going to have some more of these cards. I haven't checked on Alexander yet. I think, oh yeah, that's right. They play on Monday. Never mind. So they play on Monday. No upgrades for him yet. But some of these other, like Martinelli is up big. St. Max is going to be a 95 rated card later on this next week. Uh, Jelson Martin's price shot up yesterday because he is getting more upgrades after his performance. Take a look at this. He went from 470 all the way up to 580. He's back. He's still at 570, 580 right now. So crazy rise on a card like this. And that's helped out. A price rise like that has just helped out because people are starting to switch gears, right? The selling is kind of ending and the buying has started to begin. I mean, we've seen that throughout this past week, but if you've held off on buying cards for your team, for your squad um, or whatever, then that, you know, you're looking to really buy it and that kind of demand is heightened and it's starting to pent up. And that's that's why I really think that I wanted to speak about some of this stuff today. Now, again, like I said, Ferran Torres was 550 on Friday. Yesterday on Saturday, he had a crazy spike in price, but he was like 530 to 540. You know, he's still around that range, but if there is some panic today, could you pick up a low price on one of these cards? Yes. So that's kind of like the two options that I see for today on the market. I see option number one is they just release a couple more pack SBCs and nothing crazy, like no icon moments, upgrade pack or anything like that. If they just release like another La Liga times 11 pack or a different league, I, I would expect to see another times 11 pack today. Another one of these challenge SBCs, whether it's like League on Bundesliga or something like that. And I believe we also get to redo the e-figs pack today as well. I need to get this done so I can keep stacking this um, before team of the season actually begins. But I think that will be like almost guaranteed content for today. And again, the things that we don't know about, we I come moments upgrade. We have no other road to the final SBCs that are leaked. Of course, we have Oxlade Chamberlain and we have the uh, what's his name? I totally forgot about this card that was released yesterday. Ramsey. We have the Ramsey SBC, the Aaron Ramsey. Yeah. So this card has been released as well, which is a W not the best of stats or links, but of course a popular name and it's really, really cheap. So that's the biggest part about it. And it's live and upgrading. So that, that I think this icon SBC is the biggest piece of content that could impact the market for today. But again, like I mentioned, there's a lot of people that are looking to invest and buy cards this weekend, which it could be a very good time. I think you just hope for a little bit more panic for that. That could create some better prices. But regardless, even if that does not happen, I think you're going to start to see some of those more rare meta cards start to slide up in price later on, even to this Monday, as I mentioned, and especially later on in the week. If we get SBCs like this all week, where it's like, you know, the TOTS warm-up SBCs, if we don't get anything super crazy and it's just 86 doubles, the times 11 packs, which I don't even know what this requires, by the way. What does this require? Like an 83 squad? An 82 squad, man. I'm telling you guys, this is the other thing I'm going to talk about today is SBC fodder. Uh, we need to club stock fodder in our clubs right now. 84s that are under 4,000 coins a piece. I'm not entirely understanding how these cards every single day, they're requiring a brand new SBC. Uh, it's cheap, right? 27K for a La Liga 81 plus. Yesterday, they did the 83 times five e-figs. Uh, or not yesterday, on Friday, they did that, the 86 double. If we're gonna continue to get these times 11 upgrade packs and people are doing an 83 times five every other day as it refreshes, I really think that it's almost impossible in my mind that we're, we're going to have to see 84s. They're going to get up to that five to six K range later on this week. So if you want to get them at a little bit cheaper prices, three K right now is really cheap. It really is very, very cheap. Same thing with 85s being in the low to mid sevens. Not bad. If we get that icon SBC today, I know some of you guys have invested in fodder, myself included. I bought a bunch of Jose Fontes at uh, like... 47 to 48 K. He's like 54, 55. If we were to get an icon SBC today, this guy's going 60 K, maybe even higher. You know, Handanovic, I know people bought those, myself included. I bought a bunch of these for like 40,000 coins. So he started to go up a little bit. Your higher tier fodder needs an icon moments upgrade to go up today. Uh, but even the lower tier stuff, uh, I don't, 83 is at 1.1 K. They're a little bit expensive, but the 84s, um, I think that some of the solutions maybe for these like 83 rated squads or 82 rated squads are going to be putting out will maybe start including some like 84s because the 83s will keep going up and then the solutions will change and get a bit different. So I think the 84s are still a really, really good buy. 
and I think that you'll be able to make some profit off of them or just be able to do some of these SBCs for cheaper later on in the week. So I think that today is still a decent day to look into fodder. I really do. And then we'll see if there's any leaks, of course, for an Icon Moments player pick or a pack or anything like that. That could change some things. Um, but fodder on the high tier end is going to be a sell by the end of this week too. We've been mentioning that um, as I have bought a lot of those fodder now and not a little bit of a fodder trader action going on here, but all these Jose Fontes for like 48,000 coins, this is a fodder investment, but I'm not on a sign. It's a promo card. So I have, I don't feel like a fodder trader. I feel like a fodder flipper is what we'll call that. Just flipping promo cards. That's all we're doing uh, at the moment. But I bought those because I knew there was going to be such a big push on fodder this week. And it's paid off pretty well so far. But I really have not traded much at all over the weekend. Uh, all those icons I bought on Thursday. I think I still have a Joe Cole back here that I bought at like 618. And he went to like 680. Didn't sell him. Probably should have. I don't even know what his price is right now. 660, 670, 650. I'm just going to relist six hours overnight really quick before I go to bed. Boom, we'll do that. Why not? Not in a huge hurry to sell that Joe Cole, to be completely honest. So again, really watch the market today. We will be live streaming today on Sunday as well. Uh, so I'm going to be watching the market live on stream because there's going to there's cars that I'm interested in buying, not necessarily for the team, but for an investment heading into team of the season because I think some of these cards are still with one squad of tots cards released in the game that is not going to make the whole entire market drop and these cards are not going to stop um you know from they're not going to be kept from rebounding because there's only going to be you know a certain number of cards on the game as brand new tots items to get people all excited and all hyped um again you just it's just just weighing the pros and the cons and where the hype is right now on the game. And I think today's going to be a big, big gauge of that with whatever content that EA released. So that's what I really, really, really want to watch today. But I think you're going to start to see a little bit of a market rebound regardless on some of these higher tier cards, whether it's the brand new foot captains that were just uh, put out of packs, foot birthdays, fantasy foot cards, hero captains, popular informs, anything that is popular. Um, and again, like you always see me check Golden Bappe too. This is a golden Bappe is a card. If you see panic selling on this, there's probably panic selling on the rest of the areas of the market. That's just kind of how it goes, right? This card is one of the most car, one of the most popular cards in the game fluctuates a lot, but always has a lot of demand. And if you see panic selling on a dude like this, then you know, there's some actual legit panic and there's probably prices dropping in other areas at the same time time if you see his card dropping so really just again i know it's like nate you've been telling me to watch the market very closely for the past like week now but you just kind of have to right and today could potentially create an opportunity to buy some cards on the low or have a last chance opportunity or one of the last chance opportunities uh to see some cards uh get some cards in before they go up even higher as the rebound as people start to buy back more and more cards for their teams as we get closer to TOTS, um, as investors do that. And then of course, once we get to the actual team that's season promo, you are gonna see some of these cards rebound, uh, some more than others. We'll have to see what cards they release, what content and everything like that. But we'll talk about more of that, that latter bounce back time frame. what's gonna happen on the market later on this weekend later into this week but i wanted to get this video up today i know it's going to be a little bit shorter uh but you know the the, the game the, the, we're, that we're in right now with the content is just again it's a little bit of a filler week but maybe they'll spice it up today hopefully they release a nice times 11 pack i need to start stocking these up and i need to get some of that lower tier fodder in my club to make my life easier to do some of these SBCs. So that's going to be the video for today lads if you did enjoy smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new, have a great Sunday, and I will see you on the Twitch stream. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.